I'm not sure if it's a good word. Um, the bodies all over the centuries have been in bronze or in um, stone or in wood. And if you look to all these sculptures, besides Ab and uh, Gerstel and others, they are all dark. You don't see the erotic. You have perhaps the possibility to show one or two works here. And we decided for this great repainting and this one. Let me what, what do you think? Um, well, now I'm crazy about this room. I love seeing these paintings am among the sculptures. It would never have been something that I'd think of, partly because, you know, I love, I always very interested in the dialogue between one painting to the next. I like the paintings to, you know, contradict each other. I like the sort of thing of going from one work to the next, and that's another way in which I like to you know, keep questioning where the viewer stands in relation to the thing. But this, I, I think this room is kind of insane in a really good way. It's just so unexpected. Um, I think, I mean, it's great for me, of course, to, it's always great to have, to be able to see your work with a lot of space, a lot of distance. And then I think it's, I'm, I, um, I, I'm very excited about it. Um, I th you know, this, we, 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 we changed these sculptures a little bit. And I, I, this especially, I like the, uh, they, I like looking from the painting back to the sculptures and seeing this, the relationship. Um. I see now, I, I worked uh, a long time on sculpture and they are in some kind of dead, not what I, I know the surface, I know the transform. be some kind of argument or contradiction or paradox but also between each painting just so it's not a comfortable space necessarily but just that it constantly so you can't just look at a painting and say oh I see what's going on I like for example I like this wall very much mm -hmm. because the, the paintings are all quite different and yet I think they really um, add to one another um, I like, you know, I love the view from upstairs. I like it as you slowly walk around. To s you have different um, combinations of works together. Um, um. I like very much these uh, three too because you see the body, white, red. You see some birds, you think, and then you understand there are some penises. The one object becomes another. You see a face or a skull. And you, if you come nearer, really, in a sense, you have to, to look at a painting. Then you see little children. On the left, two man, man, uh, two uh, uh, people, man and woman. Formation in these paintings, what I really like. It's Goya inside, it's 19th century. It's uh, something else which comes out in, into your paintings. So history, but in a, in a totally... Uh, imaginary uh, world, perhaps. Um, yeah. No, it's that thing of just when I said, not meaning to be rude, but it's not describing, it's just this thing of, I've no, I always want it to, to make an equivalent for the thing, like even when, if it's about flesh or about sky or a tree or a bed, that not to think, how does that thing look, but how do you make in paint a, a new, a, 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 a stand-in for it, something instead not um, not to try and list its qualities, but to how do you say it in paint um, in a new mm. way, hopefully a new way, which of course is almost impossible. Mm. But you know, how do you do something fresh? Mm. And that is actually the schöne. The second room here, and then we go back up. What do you say? 
Ganze auch mit dem Blick, der Blick von oben ergibt wiederum ganz andere Perspektiven auf die Werke. Das abstrakt informellen äh, Landschaft oder Vorstellung ähm, im hinteren Bild, was wunderschön ist, mit äh, auch wieder Fleischfarben, kommen plötzlich irgendwelche Elemente, Leitern, andere äh, Teile hervor. Oder auf der anderen Seite, wenn man die beiden roten Werke sieht, ähm, sie gehören zusammen und doch konkretisiert sich hier etwas, was hier schon wieder aufgelöst wird. Es ist immer ein Aufbau und gleichzeitige Zerstörung von Bildwelt in, in between. Schaumes word is beautiful, is art something in between. Here is a painting uh, between uh, many, many polarities. Yeah. yeah, I like the idea of catch something at the moment of becoming, you know? Mm -hmm. Or yeah, you said before, um, a way yeah. uh, to something and not a concrete, uh, yeah. Sorry, I'm repeating myself already. No, 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 it's, um, it's, it's good to understand. Yeah. too clear so sometimes I'm not really sure how much to say mm. from it was like a it's like a young a young girl in the woods um, and there's a stalker I don't know how you say in German um, like she's being watched or followed mm -hmm. oh, yeah, yeah. stalker stalker, stalker. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. so it nearly was called stalker the same the painting of a girl on a swing it was nearly called stalker I always have this it's very there's all, almost always a voyeuristic element, an extra. It's almost as if the picture isn't complete till somebody's watching it. Not just the viewer, but there'll always be some sort of depiction of, I want an extra presence there, the feeling of something else, mm. the feeling of someone else watching. Um, so that's what I was thinking, but I left it, it's very ambiguous. <laughs> I have, um, because of the different colors, very slight colors, uh, bluish, uh, gray, uh, a little brown, but everything is in, in movement. I have a, a feeling of nature, not only uh, a thinking of nature. This mm -hmm. is what I really like uh, in the, yeah. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. But I hope people will look at it properly, not just from here. <laughs> <laughs> so we get upstairs, Schaumann, part two.